Hi. Uh, I'm not a Christian, but I can't help but put something out there. Was Jesus the, you know, protagonist in the Gospels? Was Jesus the first feminist? Was he the first gender egalitarian? That might sound kind of shocking to some people. But the fact is, in the story of Mary and Martha, Martha wondered why Mary was in the room with the men learning from Jesus. You know, learning basically to be a disciple or an apostle. Shouldn't she be in the kitchen doing women's work? That's what Martha wondered. But Jesus said, no, she belongs here. She has chosen what is best and it will not be taken from her. Uh, 2,000 years ago, that was revolutionary. You know, for the, the woman to be in a man's space learning with the men instead of in the kitchen doing the women's work, that was revolutionary. Uh, there's another st story in the Bible where um, a woman with an issue of blood, basically she's been menstruating nonstop for years. She touches his garment and is healed. And he does not remonstrate with her for touching him, even though in those days, menstruating women were considered unclean and they were, and, um, you know, most men would have, would have probably been outraged to be touched by a menstruating woman. Jesus wasn't. And Jesus advises, uh, you know, Jesus advises the women, the woman not to go to the kitchen and do the women's work, but to be in there with the men as an apostle learning from him. Now, of course, you can find Bible verses that appear to promote patriarchy or sexism. I don't deny that. But you can't find something from Jesus. Uh, Jesus was an, uh, was an odd figure in that way. He never said anything in favor of traditional sex roles. Now, he did choose 12 males as his, as his disciples, which in those days, you know, choosing a mixed group of females would have probably might have been impossible. But the fact is, he had a lot of women around him who were kind of doing similar things. And in addition, the people who found, you know, the resurrected, the resurrection, the original people were women, not men. So, you know, was Jesus the original feminist? Or maybe we should say gender egalitarian? Seems at least possible. 